make sure you subscribe with notifications on make sure you smash that like button engage with this video comment below what's up what's up this is sale app deal here for expresso here's where we talk about the latest news in dc film and entertainment plus the business behind it and today we're talking about a subject that may uh this may trigger a few folks today i've always been a huge fan of the snyderverse i obviously understand the current situation with dc and warners they're going through a reset that's why this new campaign of hashtag sell zsjo to netflix sell snyderverse to netflix is is a thing um because it's it's keeping that dream and that hope alive and you know we're hoping netflix or anyone steps up uh to finish zach's story but in the meantime we was like what other ways can we see you know just zsjl on the big screen right and one opportunity i uh, came up last year when kevin smith talked about this new theater in jersey uh that he, he uh, put together there the independent theater, Smod Castle Cinema. He also hinted that Zack Snyder was going to bring some justice to the theater, according to Kevin Smith. Uh, he's saying, you know, Zack Snyder was coming in the new year, meaning 2023. And he said, Zack was like, I've never shown Justice League in a theater once. And Kevin Smith says, so I was like, brother, bring it. And yo, when I heard about that and others talked about it on social media, and I was like, yo, that'd be a great spot for a Seal Nation meetup in Jersey to see ZSJL on a big screen, right? Well, fast forward to currently, um, there appears to be some information coming out that Warner Brothers may not allow ZSJL to show at his independent theater um, at least not in 2023. Why? Well, Kevin Smith explains um, uh, a current thing he has going on here. He was trying to show a, a different DC project and Warner's kind of pushed back and gave him an idea of how they're thinking going forward. Uh, however, the next day, March 5th, I'm back in New Jersey and we're doing Fat Man on Batman, the film series that I do there. And we're showing Mask of the Phantasm. Ooh. Oh, right, right. And afterwards, I'll get up, chit chat about it and stuff. Uh, the uh, the good folks at Warner Brothers, uh, we wanted to do uh, Batman Returns because mm. we did, you know, Batman not too long ago, months ago. But because of the Flash movie coming up, Warner Brothers has put a fucking cease not cease and desist, but they're like, you can't do Michael Keaton Batman. They're saving it for like June, I guess. So, but they were goodly enough to be like, you can do Mask of the Phantasm, so. They reached out for Batman Returns and it appears they hit a snag. Warner Brothers said that he could not show Batman Returns at the Smog Castle because of Michael Keaton Batman. That may be giving us a clue as to Maybe why we're not going to see Zack Snyder's Justice League anytime soon. Well, who's in Zack Snyder's Justice League? Well, you have Ezra Miller Flash. Maybe Warners does not want that to be in the theater before the Flash film comes out. You have Ben Affleck Batman in ZSJL. And they don't want that in there as well, too. Also, the, the, the Ivers character. So... It seems like, uh, you know, anyone that's showing up in this Flash film, they are kind of blocking, you know, this request uh, for Kevin Smith to show ZSJL is kind of lessening the chances that we will see this on the big screen, uh, at least at that theater um, for this year. Uh, so what about the future? If there's so much that they're putting into, you know, uh, you know, we want to hold the Keaton performance is there a possible future for Keaton? You know, is there is there a future for Ezra Miller, Ben Affleck? We know there's a reset. We understand, you know, uh, you know they want to do a reset. And as according to James Gunn, some characters are making it, some are not. But Gunn also said definitely Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck are not 
in the new DCU. So why is it all this confusion? Uh, is it a chance Keaton could do more? That would be cool. Uh, that would make sense if you want to kind of block other things. Like, now nah, let's, you know, make his appearance special in The Flash. Ezra Miller, is there still a chance for Ezra Miller going forward? It just presents more questions and it's still confusion, uh, just in my opinion, for how Warner Brothers is moving. You know, Kevin Smith was just doing this one day only showing of a film and, one, you know, three months before the flash comes out and Warner's is like, nah, you can't use Keaton Batman. I find that interesting. I find it a little perplexing, a little confusion. And again, it, it kind of shows me that maybe we won't see Zack Snyder's Justice League at that Jersey theater. Um, at least not this year. Uh, the chances seem very slim if they're blocking, you know, uh, 1992's Batman Returns, you know, but just for like a, a one day showing and at a theater that it won't be more than 200 people at Kevin Smith showing for that for that film. And he was only going to do it for like one day. And you're blocking that. This is just one independent theater, Smart Castle in Jersey. Like I said, they probably, you know, a couple hundred people at the most would show up at that one event. And Warner's blocked it. What do y'all think about that? And again, I'm, I'm expecting either Zach, you know, because Kevin Smith and Zack Snyder apparently are, are actually pretty good friends. Uh, Kevin Smith speaks highly of Zack Snyder all the time, refers to Zack Snyder all the time. And then also Zack Snyder picked Kevin Smith for the... Uh, red carpet premiere of ZSJL. Uh, you know, he picked his friend, uh, Kevin Smith. So maybe Zach will still show a film there. It just probably just can't be, you know, Justice League, I guess. Uh, maybe he could do Man of Steel. Uh, I guess they wouldn't block that. I don't, <laughs> it just The thing with the DC brand right now, uh, you know, again, I knew the time was, was coming for a reboot, a reset. So I'm not fighting that. Uh, but this is brand confusion. This DC brand confusion is is about to kill the box office for Shazam too. For other reasons too with Shazam. Like the star of the film didn't help isn't helping promote that film that well either. But you know, it's this brand confusion. Now it's different with the Flash because you have that nostalgia. You have people that have been fans of Ben Affleck Batman who's definitely going to see it fans of Keaton new fans of Sasha Kaye Supergirl so there's a lot of reasons people are going to show up and see the Flash film it, I'm sure it's going to be a cloud hanging over Aquaman 2 uh, Blue Beetle may escape it because Gunn's already adopted Blue Beetle in the DCU and I think it's going to be a nice you know, little film as well too so <clears throat> you know not, not too concerned about Blue Beetle but what do y'all think? What do y'all think about this choice that Warner Brothers is blocking just a small showing of 1992's Batman Returns because they don't want Keaton's Batman showing up in any other theater, no matter how small the theater is, <laughs> months before Keaton shows up in the Flash film for a world that they're supposed to be resetting anyway. Like at the end of the film, Keaton's not even going to be there. And you still want to block it? very interesting times that we're in as dc fans we're holding on we're going for this ride together and hopefully there'll be some clarity soon much love to still nation y'all been holding it down across the board this was expresso we out click the link below for my podcast channel which features full discussions over dcu and other superhero geek genres film and entertainment also check out the link to my link tree which highlights and captures content from all of my social media platforms much love